What's up everybody? So today we're going to be talking about the five biggest sports leagues in the world. We're going to go through them. We're going to go through what makes them so, um, you know, so big and so lucrative and what I think is going to happen in the years coming forward. So with that being said, it's going to be a little bit different today. We're just going to be talking about sports in general. So if this is your first time to the channel, I want to welcome you to Dreamers Pro. I'm Charles. Let's get into the content. Let's go. So as you know, sports is, you know, widely one of the biggest um, industries in the world and it's still growing at a really rapid pace. There are a lot of sports fans all over the world who are actually beginning to, you know, generate interest, not just in one sport, but many different sports. You know, sports are becoming much more global. If you think of the NBA and how global it is in the world today in China and other places. And if you think of football, how it's beginning to have an impact, especially how, for example, the USA team just won the World Cup for the uh, females uh, league. Now, and this just really shows how much is growing. But with that being said, in this video today, we're just gonna be covering the, fop, the top five biggest uh, sports leagues in the world today. So coming in at number one is the NFL, which generated $13 billion in revenue in 2018. Now, and you know, they were able to do primarily a lot of this because of the TV contracts that they have with teams, I mean, excuse me, with, uh, with TV networks such as Fox, CBS, ESPN, and DirecTV, which was, you know, slated to generate them $56.4 billion from 2014 to 2022. So you can see that there's a lot of, there's a lot of ad revenue and TV revenue that's gonna come in to these TV contracts that the NFL is actually gonna be be able to capitalize on, and that's what you see what's happening. That's the reason why, obviously, with the growing popularity of the sport in the United States, um, it is the biggest sports in the United States, and you know, with the Super Bowl being the most watched sports event in the entire world, there's no surprise that the NFL is the biggest league still in the world uh, today. Given that it has all of its different issues with you know social issues, etc., it's still a very popular league. And with teams like, for example, the Dallas Cowboys, which are which is the most valuable sports team in the entire world, you know, valued at over four billion dollars, you know, with a master uh, marketer and uh, Jerry Jones as their as their owner, there's no you know there's no surprise that you know the you know they have the most lucrative, uh, they have the most uh, uh, let's say they have the richest sports team in the world. And you know the Dallas Cowboys haven't won in a while yet. They're still very popular, and then then they're often referred to as America's team. So it's no surprise that they're really you know uh, that the NFL is at the top of the list. Now coming in number two, which actually surprised me, is actually baseball. MLB. MLB actually generated just about 10 billion dollars in 2017. I don't have the the most recent figures, but that's the figures I was able to um, unearth. And for me, it makes a lot of sense. You know, baseball is a really big sports. Um, it's a, a sport in the United States. It's a pastime of a lot of people. A lot of people enjoy watching it. A lot of people enjoy playing it. Um, and you know, it has a really big impact in the sports world. Um, of course, they also have you know very very um, you know well-known teams such as the New York Yankees and the Red Sox, etc. And with these major you know names, these staples in sports, it's, it's going to be really hard for these you know for these um, leagues to really go away. So baseball came in at number two as the second most. Um, you know, uh, highest grossing sports league <clears throat> in the world. Number three, we have the NBA, which generated just about $7.4 billion in, 2008, in 2018, if I'm correct. And, you know, the NBA is also home to a lot of major sports um, icons, such as the Los Angeles Lakers, the Boston Celtics, and the New York Knicks. And in fact, the New York Knicks are the most valuable basketball team in all of the NBA, believe it or not. I mean, the New York Knicks haven't won in God knows how long, but nevertheless, they're still able to sell out their arena. I mean, it's in New York City and the most famous arena in the world, Madison Square Garden, and they're able to still fill up a lot of seats. New York New York is still, you know, as it turns out to be the mecca of basketball, and it's in the, you know, it's in the financial capital of the United States. So it's no surprise that the Knicks are the most valuable sports team, and this is without winning. Imagine if they were a winning team, like Golden State. Imagine just how much more valuable the New York Knicks would be. Um, but it's still the Mecca and a lot of people, especially a lot of basketball players, when they go to play in New York, that is their number one arena to go play and put on the show because it's the Mecca. It's where all of the fans, they, they have the purest fans when it comes to the sport and they always want to put on a good show. If you listen to any interview with Michael Jordan and other players, they'll tell you that they, they always want to put on a good show in Madison Square Garden. Now, number four, coming in at number four as the most profitable uh, you know, league as far as revenue in the world, we have the English Premier League, which generated $5.3 billion in 2018. 
in 2018. And of course, it makes a lot of sense because football is, I mean, they say it's the biggest sports a sport in the world. I don't know how they, I don't know how we're going off of this. I guess, I, I guess we're going by maybe attendance in arenas. But as far as revenue, they came in number four in my findings. And you know it's and it's, it's still growing. I guess um, I don't I don't have any explanation for that because I don't know the sport well enough. But yet and still, they did come in number four as one of the most profitable leagues in the world. And of course, they have the most popular um, active athlete in the world today, in Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, and it makes a lot of sense because I mean, for instance, if you go to Cristiano Ronaldo's Instagram, he has over 100 million followers. He was able to generate 500 million dollars in revenue from his social media posts and things like this on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook for Nike. So there's, there's, that, that was one of the reasons why they gave him a lifetime contract of a billion dollars. So football is a really, really big sport. It's not going away, it's gonna to continue to grow. And you see the impact it's able to have on the world globally, especially when the World Cup comes around and the, you know, the European uh, Championship comes around and things like this. So football came in number four. And number five, we have the Indian Premier League, which is um, for cricket. And believe it or not, it's actually the fastest growing league in the world today. It's actually amazing. They made just about $3 billion um, uh, do uh, in revenue, and roughly $3 billion in revenue, and they're continuing to grow. They're becoming much more famous all around the world. Uh, cricket is played a lot in the islands. Um, I actually don't understand cricket very well as far as how it's played, although I've seen it being, being played. Um, and it's a very popular sport, it turns out, and the numbers are backing it up. And it makes a lot of sense. So as you can see, a lot of these leagues are really, really um, big and they're growing in sports as a whole. It's really, really beginning to take, you know, take its foothold on, on, on as, as far as the impact on society, you know, globally. So that's, this is my case why I think that sports is growing. Over 100 sports franchises in the world are worth over a billion dollars. Actually, 106 to be exact are worth over a billion dollars. So that just lets you know where sports is going in the future. And for me as a major sports fan, I think it's great because there are a lot of sports out there that I don't know much about that I'd like to get into as well. And I know us as sports fans, you know, we don't just like one thing. You know, we, we can appreciate, for instance, if you're a basketball fan, there's no reason you wouldn't, you wouldn't appreciate a good boxing, uh, uh, you, wouldn't, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't enjoy a good boxing match, or maybe you may watch some MMA, or maybe you may watch some Formula One. You know, it, it all depends. These are all different sports in the world that we as fans can, you know, uh, consume and enjoy. And I think that's, what, that's what's gonna continue to happen as time goes on, our taste is gonna continue to grow. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna have, you know, um, an overlapping of fans watching different sports that were originally, you know, maybe let's say football fans, or you know, I'm talking about football, American football, or maybe soccer fans, or maybe baseball fans, or cricket fans, whatever it is, or tennis fans. And I think that's a great thing because it's gonna grow sports in, uh, as a whole. Overall, I believe sports is something that brings people together and, you know, it, it riles up a lot of passion in people and gets people fired up, which is pretty cool as long as it doesn't get to a violent place. But for me, it's really great. And I thought this video would be really good to just really, in, be, in, that, that it would be informative to a lot of sports fans out there just to let them know how big uh, of, you know, of a deal sports is in the world today as far as an industry and a power player in the world today. So this is Charles. If you're a sports fan, you definitely got to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. We'd love to hear what you thought. This is Charles here from Dreamers Pro wishing you a great day. Peace.